All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more God of War Ragnarok. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do this. Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is, how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. Look, I think we're missing the known's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, 
I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. Your choice, brother. <laughs> Always a joy to work on these. I'll disinfect my tools. Where do you hell you get Asgardian ingots? Now, was there something else? Oh. Thanks for collecting that. Anything for Freya? What do you need? And for the Valkyrie Queen? I'll heat up the forge. And now, Freya? Something in mind? Lighten your load. Want something in particular? Have we more to talk about? Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. Inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. 
in time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the Leanworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until our next encounter, then. They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying. So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow him to pick up to him. I'm gonna miss you, little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. 
Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, Tim. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our life. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. Speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Right. Most There's no likely where we get trapped. someone in need of a lair been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I hope I so. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right prick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Rah! We may need to work together on this one. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is.
blast our way out. That barrel by the gate should do the trick. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic ace here. Oh, all right. Might have had that one. Well, wicked grim, an encounter with the wicked grim will almost certainly lead to a good thrashing from that whip like apparatus. Most would call a tongue. They wear their favorite pastime, which seems to be lashing said tongue around any available appendage, ignoring the attached creature to the best of their ability. I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Fortuitous oil spill. you yes i need to talk to kratos please listen you have to let me take brock's place he can't talk to the lady he mustn't no do not ask again but oh dear it's not his fault atreus ran off with him. or are you just being brock's champion there it is again you're insinuating and you know it can't the smartest man alive put it together the Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who fought wars against God and won. I am not the champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs>
Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. I had it. was a bloody hearty sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. <clears throat> we'll need to get one of those gates open. seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother?
that work? Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yogar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world.
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secret haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help with that. Makes the dream work. You guys are kidding me. Oh, fucker. There's two of them. And they're angry. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. Finally. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. Mm. 
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Valky! Go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. <laughs> what a prize he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Oh, here we go. Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we could reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this crud. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? 
They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Well, I got the gate open, but you kind of need to be up here to use it, you dig? Once more. Promising. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. so the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? Suck on this, pud chafer! What? You got something to say? Say it already! 
Right on up to the ford. Come on, the lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. Sure. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. I'm just standing what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of a thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncool. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> why, bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I swear, if ain't one thing, it's another. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky, silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to be hoping. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll bring you that tale. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to the best that I'd work till I wouldn't <laughs> Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like the when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. 
gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's huh. right. Hmm. Sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows what do you when mean you take away nope? the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. Can you talk? She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Vrater almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Huh? <laughs> Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want it needs a blessing 
Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look, we got volunteers. That's the stuff. Ain't the first time with the spear, I reckon. It is the first weapon a Spartan learned. What hell? Like old times, then. Couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs> 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 Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. And I'm gonna stop it here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. This series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.